There's several steps to it. Of course, as an applicant, you're going to submit a primary application. And so this is where you put in all your basic demographic information. This will go to DGSOM and any other medical school that you're applying to. Don't tell us who you're applying to because it just makes us jealous because we know you're applying to DGSOM. Now, many of these schools may offer you a secondary application. And that secondary application is the supplemental application. This is school specific. And so you may, you may apply to 10 schools and only get five secondary applications. You may get all 10. You may only get one. But in that application, you're answering school-specific questions based on the mission of that school. And so when you're applying to each school, go back and look at their website. Go and look at their admissions pages and see what their mission is and see some other things that make that school stand out to you so that you can put that in your application. And you can tie in your, your wishes to be a physician with the school's mission because that's what the admissions committee will be looking for. They're gonna be looking for that connection to their mission. So anything you can say to connect your goal to that mission is gonna help you out. Now, after the primary and the secondary application, now it, it'll be time for the interview. Not everyone will be interviewed. And so for those of you who get that interview, uh, be prepared. You know, review your application materials. Uh, every interview process is gonna be different. At DGSOM, we are offering two, for the traditional MD track, because we have several tracks, the traditional MD track, we're doing two one-on-one -on -one interviews with faculty members. The other tracks may do something different. Prime may ha has their own uh, interview process, and so does MSTP, and so does Charles Drew University. So you have to do the research to see what that process is for every school, but every school is going to be different. And then after your interview, now it's the big waiting game. Did I get in? Yeah, and I know it takes a lot of patience. Uh, you know, you're going to be nervous. Feel free to reach out to the admissions office if you do have any questions or you're a little anxious about it. We can give you some tips. Uh, we can share links from the AAMC that can assist you with dealing with that anxiety and that waiting game. Uh, but also just be patient. Uh, we, will have, we will be admitting students from mid-October all the way until May, June. A couple years ago, we admitted someone the Friday before we started. So it happens. So be patient. And, you know, and we will let you know when a decision is made in your application.